Uh, this is the Keith Coogan experience, and it's a short film. It's a short comedy about um, two guys that go around thinking they can pretend to be whatever they want, and they'll be it. The movie really, really has no plot. It just the, the character art comes when they meet this famous actor in the elevator, and that's why it's, that's why it's called the Keith Coogan experience. I've learned that um, making an independent movie is a lot harder than it seems, especially when you're on a time crunch like we were. Um, I'd say the biggest challenge is just like, I mean this includes me too, just trying to corral a bunch of dudes who are making a movie for the first time. I mean, it's been kind of tough. Everything costs a lot more than I thought it would, and everything takes a lot more time than I thought it would. Keith Duncan's been really, really good. He's sat back and let us fail, and let us mess up, and let us screw up, and let us get into our own little messes that we have to figure out how to get out of. And then if we need his help, he comes in and helps us, but other than that, he, he's on the sidelines. Uh, the, the hotel scene was, was, really, was really cool. It was, nice and, uh, it was a nice raunchy, raunchy location. It really fit what they were trying to convey in the script. It was just really shady, and I was really scared for my life and the life of my friends. I just wanted to get out of there as fast as possible. Everyone was trying to direct, and it's like things were happening so quick. It was hot in there. There was prostitutes. Well, I think we found drugs in the hotel room, if I'm not mistaken. So, and that guy got stabbed across the street. I'm not going to forget about that. So, I mean, yeah, that, was, that was an awesome experience, too. And we've been going to school together for a year now, and we all pretty much know our, our weaknesses, and we all know how to respect each other. And the group dynamic is really interesting. We bust balls all day long, but eventually get the job done and are pretty, pretty good friends about it. So. Well, the toughest thing about the job is obviously the stress. We're, we're still in every stage of production. We still have some things to shoot. We still have some things to edit. We have sound to do. So, I mean, it's not like we've moved on from any certain stage in production. It's just it's a cluster F that, you know, first-time filmmakers will run into, and we have definitely run into it at this point. It's, it's really coming out a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, um, yeah, it's from script to screen is working out wonderfully, absolutely. I hope they laugh, and I hope they enjoy it, because I think it's really funny. And uh, I want them to take away, uh, you know, two things, a sense that, this crew knows what they're doing and that they can make these movies and that you know we have big hearts and we're trying to put all our you know all our energy and all our enjoyment into this and make a good final product um, go check our movie out it's gonna premiere on December 11th 08 um, and if you're not there I don't want to be your friend at all <laughs>